God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for tuning in. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in uh, to today's episode of Midday Breakthrough Hour with Apostle Karen Proctor. I am your host. If this is your first time, I welcome you. Go ahead and put a one up there that lets me know that you are a first time viewer. Let me know where you are viewing me from. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna ask if you do not mind to kindly share the broadcast with your friends. I thank you for sharing the broadcast. We know that sharing is caring. We're trying to reach the masses for Jesus Christ. And today's broadcast is entitled, Let Go and Let God. I welcome your financial support at any time. If you wish to sow, you will see the link there that you can sow. Sowing helps you to grow. Sharing is because you care, but sowing, it helps you to grow. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not subscribed to my page so far, I'm going to ask you to subscribe hit the notification button. That way when I am on, you will get the notification. Hello, Pamela, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to try to uh, share this broadcast out. So give me a few seconds. Hello, Kiki, thank you for watching. God bless you. I'm going to share it um, in the group right now. So. Just hang tight for a few seconds. Hope you guys have been having a uh, great day so far. Okay, God bless you guys. I'm so happy that you have decided to take uh, some time and to join me on this live broadcast today. Um, we know that this broadcast is all about sharing the word of God and uplifting the name of the Lord as we believe for breakthrough. And with that being said, I just want to uh, let you know today that miracles are on the way. If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can believe it, you will receive it. Miracles are on its way to you today. So we're going to jumpstart this uh, broadcast with a whisper of prayer. Father, we just thank you. We praise you today. We bless you. We honor you. We come to you in the sacred name of Jesus. We decrease that your Holy Spirit would increase. Father, we thank you today. Hallelujah. That you're going to move mountains for your people. We ask that you will search us today. And if there be any wicked way in us, oh God, we ask that you will clean us up and use us. Use this broadcast for your honor and your glory. It is in Jesus' holy Holy name we pray. God bless you guys. Thank you for coming in. And as you come in, go ahead and share the broadcast with your friends so that as many people as possible can hear the word of the Lord today. All of the viewers on uh, YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, God bless you. Share, share, share. And so today, what I want to talk about is let go and let God. We know that that used to be a little uh, saying some time ago when anybody was going through something. I don't know who came up with this, but 
we would say let go and let God. And so that's what we want to do in this season. We want to let go of everything that does not take us into a bright future. <laughs> that does not promote miracles, healing, deliverance uh, in our life. We want to let that thing go and not hold on to it and let God. I just want to read for you uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, 13 and 14. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward unto those things which are before me. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. We know that, that the word of the Lord is already blessed. So we pray that this word will be a blessing to you today, that you will hold this word in your arsenal and that it will just uh, really change the trajectory of how you have been thinking if that thinking was stinking thinking and not bringing you into the alignment and the will of God for your life. So the Apostle Paul uh, wrote this to the church at uh, Philippians, the Philippian people. He says, guess what? He said, brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended. He said, but this one thing I do, I forget those things that which are behind me. And he says, I'm reaching forward um, unto those things that are before me. So in essence, what was Paul saying? He knew that he messed up at uh, before he came to this point in his life. And how many know that some things that we have did before, it could have been just yesterday. It could have been today. It could have been years and years ago. And sometimes we allow our mistakes to hold us back from where God really wants to take us because the only thing we can see and identify with is the things that we messed up. But Paul says, come on. He said, I know I was uh, a murderer. I know I uh, persecuted the, the, the church of God. He said, I know I writ the, wrote those decrees. And I know that I went uh, against the things of God. I, I know all of that. And, and all of that, hallelujah, sometimes will... Uh, keep us from going forward in our bright future because what we did in the past. Well, I just want to let you know today that you are not what you did. I'm not what I did. I know that I messed up a lot of times, but that's not who I am. We're not what we did. We're not what we was. And some people are still holding themselves hostage to things that happened 20 years ago. Things that happened five years ago, they repented about it, but you still allow the devil to keep you in that place that you will not move forward. But I tell you today that you are not what you did. You are not who you used to be. You are the embodiment of Christ. And, and what does Christ mean? Christ means the anointed one. You are the embodiment of Jesus Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. If we keep looking back, to the things we used to do and the places we used to go, we will never move forward. So I'm glad that Paul wrote this. Verse 14 say, I, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. Sometimes we just got to give it our all in all. We got to press, press, and not allow nothing to hold us back. It's like the analogy of an uh, athlete. I don't know how many athletes that are viewing or may come on the re uh, broadcast. They don't look back to see 
uh, what's going on behind them, and especially runners. They're always going to make a strive to press towards the, the prize because, see, they're not in it just because. They're in it to win it, just like a wrestler. The wrestler, he's not worried about the match that was last week, last month, or last year. Come on, somebody. Even though you may have to take some time off. You see, many of these boxers and wrestlers, they, they took years off sometimes to to rebuild to retrain to get it together because guess what i know that i am better than that previous match so i'm not going to look at what the news said about me last year i'm not going to read the the magazines and the news articles from that time uh i'm going to press towards the mark of the high calling and this is the same for you and I as Christians, come on, hallelujah. The Bible says that a just man fall it seven times, but guess what? He say he gets back up. A just man fall it seven times, but he gets back up. Come on, so I know that many are feeling like you are stuck in a rut. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stuck. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what way to do. You're feeling like you are trapped. But I want you to hear me and I want you to hear me good. Amen. As I minister under the unction of the Holy Spirit. This is your season for breakout. This is your season for a miracle. Come on. God no longer wants you to be stuck. Hallelujah. In a rut. It's like you are trapped. No. We come to break that spirit today. Hallelujah. God made a way of escape for you. He made a way of escape for you by sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, the word of the Lord is still revelant today. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord is still going down today. He don't want us to be like we are hamsters or, or, or rats on, on a wheel, just going round and round in a cycle. No, that cycle of being stuck in a rut is being broken today. If you can believe it, you can receive it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. No more being stuck in a rut. No more being stagnated in this season. You won't be trapped today. Hallelujah. I know that uh, some the, the young people, and not even young people, even middle-aged people, it's just your mindset. Some people, they talk about this trap house, but you are not in a trap house. We don't mimic the things after the world. Amen. Hallelujah. We're not conformed to this world. Hallelujah. We are renewed. We are not conformed to this mind. We are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Amen. We are not that hamster on a wheel that's just going around and around and around and don't know which way to go. We know which way to go because as children of God and as heirs with Christ Jesus, he says that my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger he will not follow. Come on. Hallelujah. Many of you are holding on to baggage, baggage of yesteryears, baggage of long time ago. This is why God is saying to his people today, <clears throat> let go and let God, let go and let God. What didn't work last week and yesteryears and, and however you messed up back then, that is not the word for today. That's not the word for today. That is not how God see you and that's not how you ought to see yourself. Amen. Don't see yourself stuck in a rut. Don't see yourself on that rat wheel. See yourself being renewed. See yourself breaking out of bondage. See yourself, hallelujah, receiving the breakthrough that God has ordained for you. See yourself receiving that miracle with your name on it. Yes, there is a miracle with your name on it. And so how are we going to become uh, 
to, to get out of that, that rut. Come on. Hallelujah. We're going to declutter. We're going to declutter. And you know when a place is cluttered, nobody can get through. And when a place is cut uh, cluttered, I'm talking about in a physical sense of the matter now. If you ever watch that TV show or, or you know somebody personally, when you go in, in their house and when you watch that sh show, you see that nobody can get through there. You see a lot of roaches, rats in, and all kind of fecal matter in, and the person end up becomes sick in, and their fi uh, friends and family don't want to deal with them anymore because of their mindset. And, and they get like that because of whatever they have gone through in life. And we will go through some things in life. Come on. And that's what get people stuck in a rut. Come on. Hallelujah. So they become cluttered. But today we come to declutter ourselves spiritually so that the blessings of God can manifest in our life. Hallelujah. In a tangible way naturally. Come on, somebody. And so all of that stuff starts in the mind. But the Bible tells us, Jesus tells us through his holy word, he say, let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus had the mind of a winner. Christ Jesus had the mind that anything he say will manifest. Come on. Christ Jesus had the mind of a breaker. And for those of you that have been following me faithfully, come on. Hallelujah. You are breakers. Come on. This broadcast has been going on for three years. Thursday, midday, breakthrough hour. And if you have been believing the word of the Lord that he has given me, and if you are saved, sanctified, and you are filled with the spirit of God on the inside of you, and if God is is the breaker. That's one of the names of God. He is the breaker. I've talked about this before. He is a breaker. And so that means that you are, hallelujah, a little breaker. Amen. You may not be the big breaker, but the spirit of the breaker rests on the inside of you. The anointing of the breaker uh, rests on the inside of you. So guess what? We have the mind of Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. That same Philippians said, we have the mind of Christ. Isaiah even said, hallelujah. He that keep his mind stayed on me. He that keep his mind stayed on me. Christ Jesus, hallelujah, he said he will keep you in perfect peace, no matter what, come on, hallelujah, no matter what you are going through, no matter what come your way, hallelujah, you can keep your mind stayed on God, you can't keep your mind on what happened to you yesteryears, come on, I even hear the Lord say some people, you're just stuck because of relationship woes, relationship woes, you won't move forward, come on, hallelujah, because the relationship did not work out for you, come on, you may have been in a bad marriage, you may have had a bad boyfriend, a bad girlfriend, come on, You, your best friend probably betrayed you, come on, the, the one that you say is my ride or die, come on, hallelujah, they may have betrayed you, and so guess what, you put all that clutter in your mind, you can let it consume your heart, hallelujah, and you can't move forward. But I come today with the anointing, with the anointing of the breaker to break these cycles off of you. Hallelujah. That you will not be cluttered. Glory be to God. That you will be able to think. Come on. You will be able to think straight. That you will be able to hear the clarion voice of the Lord in your life telling you where to go and where not to go, what to do and what not to do. Come on. Hallelujah. The anointing of the breaker is here. God have miracles for you with your name on it. Today is your day for a miracle. Come on. Sometimes we find ourselves continuing to look back, looking back. It's like we are looking back in the rear view mirror. And we know that the rear view mirror on our cars when we drive automobiles, it is uh, the law that that rear view mirror is placed on the windshield. Come on. That we can get a glimpse of impeding danger. Come on, hallelujah. But today, 
Glory be to God. And, and, and that rearview mirror also helped us to make transitions. But the rearview mirror was not designed for us to keep looking back. Because if we keep looking back when we drive in the rearview mirror, we are subject to cause an accident. And guess what? We don't even have eyes on the back of our head. Why? Because Jesus, he got our back like nobody else. So we don't have to keep looking back in the rear view mirror. It's only there, come on somebody, hallelujah, to help us to make a transition from one lane to the next lane. But it's not there for us to keep on glancing back, keep on glimmering back. Some people are wondering like, okay, I hear God, but should I move? Because the naysayer is going to say, I remember when, I remember when she used to do this. She used to be that. He used to do this. He used to be that. But son, but ma'am, can I tell you today, hallelujah, everything that you have did, once you have repented, that thing is under the blood, under the blood. People that always looking back, something is wrong. Something is wrong. You must be feel like somebody is, uh, somebody is after you. Come on. Hallelujah. But as children of God, we can rest in his arms we can afford to rest in his arms and we don't have to keep on looking back why because the lord says that he gives his angels charge over those that fear him come on hallelujah he said if you fear him that means if you reverence god in your life come on he said he give his angels charge over you come on psalms 91 even in the uh, uh i believe it's psalms 34 come on hallelujah the angels of the lord are assigned to you glory be to god so whatever danger may come your way glory be to god don't you know that we live even though we are in a natural uh environment there is a spiritual world out there as well and that's where god has given his angels to go to go be with my daughter be with my son come on hallelujah that way we can relax in god come on hallelujah that we don't have to keep looking back and taking account of what didn't work in the past and afraid to move forward come on hallelujah can I tell you the other morning when I got up and, you know, the first thing I do is go in prayer like I know many of you do too. <laughs> Greet the Lord with prayer. And I begin to uh, pray, just begin to pray, make intercession, um, begin to decree and declare some things over my life. And I heard the Lord speak to me. And even as he spoke to me, I believe that he wants me to share it with you. I heard the Lord speak to me. Sometimes we, we carry things that we shouldn't carry. Hallelujah. We shouldn't like Erica Badu wrote a song some years ago, Bag Lady. We don't need to be bag ladies. We don't need to be bag men. Come on. I heard the Lord speak to me in this very hallelujah passage of, of scripture. Hallelujah. Forget those things that are behind and press 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 towards the mark of the high calling come on press towards that mark yes some things probably did not work out for you in the past yes a lot of things didn't work out for me in the past but we do know according to my specification they may not have worked out for me the holy spirit just check me <laughs> but romans 8 and 28 says we know that all things work for the good of those who love the lord who are called according to his purpose so even though i felt like i've been burnt felt like some things didn't work out for me in the past and don't you know sometimes our past would keep us from moving into a bright future when God's saying get up go do it but all the enemy wants to ring in your ear and and ring in your heart and and ring in your mind ring in my heart ring in my ear ring in my mind oh you know what happened the last time 
You know it didn't work out. Come on. Hallelujah. But you, don't you know that kind of thinking is not from God? Because as children of God, he tells us what? He said, we walk by faith and not by sight. We are to walk by faith and not by sight. We are to press. Press towards the mark of the high calling. Yes, it may be a difficult journey. But Jesus made a promise to his children. Come on. He said, I will be with you. Lo, even to the ends of the world. So I don't just believe that God was speaking to me. I believe that he was speaking to me in my personal life, for my personal situation, but also to share it with you. Because many of you probably have gone through the same thing. Amen. Hallelujah. If the truth has been told. And some things we go through, the enemy would try to use it against us to paralyze us to make us feel that we can't get back up come on hallelujah i remember i learned this nursery rhyme when i was in elementary school humpty dumpty sat on the wall humpty dumpty had a great fall all the king horses and all the king men could not put humpty dumpty back together again but i tell you this the king uh, horsemen couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's able to put us back together again. He's able to set us up. And sometimes what we go through is just a setup and an opportunity that we can bounce back in a greater way. Hear what God is saying. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's just to, to sharpen you for where God wants to take you ultimately. Because where you was, where I was on the journey, is not the ultimate stop. It's not the ultimate stop. Some of these things just come to try us. To see if that, see if we would be true to God. Hallelujah. And to take all the, the impurities off of us. So when we are tried in the fire, that we can come out as pure gold. I can't tell you nothing that I haven't been through. I'm telling you what I've been through, what I've gone through, what I'm going through. But God said, guess what, my daughter? He said, all of that. He said, just press. Come on. How many know the blessing is in the pressing? The blessing is in the pressing. But at this juncture, we got to let go. Let go of all the things that didn't work. All the lying. All the cheating. All the backbiting. All the naysayers. Hallelujah. We have to let all that go. All the hurt, all the pain. Hallelujah. Because guess what? God say that deliverance is the children's bread. If we don't want to let go, then we can't allow God to work on us and take us to the next step on the journey. It's just like those people uh, that lives in that cluttered house. Come on, somebody help me. I can't. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't seem like I can't get it out. What 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 are you what are you call those people hoarders? Yes. And we're going to keep hoarding every uh feeling, every experience. If we're going to keep hoarding it, then we can't get to the next step on the journey. Come on. Hallelujah. I hear God say it's time for blessings. It's time for miracles. Come on. It's time for greater miracles. It's time for greater blessings. But we can't hoard, 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 hoard everything that has ever happened to you. And, and, and you see those people that's on that hoarding program. Hallelujah. Because they refuse to, to let go they find they, themselves in, their, in that position where now as the psychiatrists have to come. They begin to lose family, lose friends, lose jobs. We begin to lose when we hoard. And we can't get 
what God want to give us because we we are hoarding the unhealthy experiences. We're hoarding uh, the hurt, the pain, the anger, the resentfulness of uh, what we lost. So, how, how many know sometimes you got to lose sometimes? How many know you got to lose sometimes in order to win? You got to lose sometimes in order to win. Come on. I was speaking with someone on yesterday. Uh, they were working on a project and they paid for the project, but uh, the person did not treat them right. And I was simply saying, you know what? Sometimes you got to cut your costs, cut your losses, I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to cut your losses and move forward. I, I, I was telling the person I've had that same experience, paid for the work, the work wasn't done, but I knew that the project that God gave me, I had to get it out. So guess what? I had to pay all over again. I had to cut my losses in order to move forward in God, in order to move forward with the project God gave me. Come on. Hallelujah. How many know that when God call you to something, he'll see you through it. And I know sometimes we get in our feelings. Come on. I know that I'm not the only one, if the truth be told. Why? Because we're only human, but we can't stay in our feelings. Glory be to God. God wants to move us forward in a greater way, in a bigger way. God has big time plans for you. God has big miracles with your name on it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and as God was giving me this to, to, uh, to share with you today, one of the things he uh, told me to say, and I was trying to jot this stuff down as the Lord was giving it to me so that I won't forget it. One of the things God told me to say is, you know, <laughs> even when we go through sometimes and we really feel like we came out on the, the losing end of the bargain. God told me to tell you that sometimes he saved the best for last. Sometimes he really do save the best for last. And, and we can even see this in the scripture. The, the scripture even back this up. He saves the best for last. And, and sometimes we feel like, okay, we didn't make the mark. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes we feel like we were overlooked for the position. Sometimes we felt like we were overlooked for the business deal. Sometimes we feel like... Uh, People all around us is overlooking us. Sometimes, and even if you are in ministry, sometimes you feel like, hey, you're overlooked. But God says, sometimes even among, I hear the Holy Spirit say, some of you are even feeling like you're overlooked when it even come to your mother and your father, children. Sometimes you feel like that you are the least of these. But God says today that he saves the best for last. He saves the best for last. The scripture tells us about a, a wedding that was going on in Canaan. And, and, and they put out all the, the wine and, and the party was still going on. And, and guess what? It was no more wine. And so Jesus, so Mary, I'm sorry, beckons her servants to go to Jesus to tell Jesus about this situation. And what did Jesus say? He said, woman, what do I have to do with this? For my hour has not come. Come on, somebody. And sometimes we feel like, God, what about me? What about me? It's like my little uh, four-year-old grandson. I remember when he was about two years old, he wanted to get that attention all the time. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> and sometimes we're like that with, with the Lord. Lord, look at me. Look at me. Do you know what I'm going through? Lord, do you know what I experienced? But Jesus told Mary, he said, woman, my hour has not come. And so sometimes Jesus is telling us, Karen, the hour has not come. Come on. Kit Kat, the hour has not come. Sister Monique, Sister Pamela, maybe the hour has not come. Replay viewers, maybe the hour had not come when you thought that it should have worked for you. But Jesus said he saves the best for last. He's, he's saying this through that story. And so Jesus decided to tell the gentleman, 
he says, go ahead and fill up the water pots. Come on. Hallelujah. So I want you to fill your water pots up today. And expect a miracle. Fill it up. Take the declutter out. Get off of the rent wheel. Get off the rent wheel. Declutter your brain and your mind. Stop looking in the real view mirror. Hallelujah. We're coming to the part where, hey, the best was saved for last. And so Mary told the servants, she said, whatever he say, I want you to do it. Whatever he say. Come on. You see, that's another reason why sometimes we become stuck in the rut and, and become decluttered and, and keep looking back at what was, what used to be. Come on. Because we're not willing to do what God say. I'm not saying this is always the case. I'm saying this is sometimes why we don't get the breakthrough that we need. And I'm reminded right now um, a former co-worker of mine some years back her sister got in some trouble went to jail and she could have lost her job because she's a professional woman so she called me and she was like oh my god Karen you got to come to my house and pray with my family and I said, I don't have to come to your house. I say, I can just pray. I can pray from where I am. There's no distance in the word. Like the uh, servant, the centurion servant that uh, his servant was the centurion soldier. His servant was sick and he came to where Jesus was. He said, just send the word to my servant so he can be healed he had faith in jesus jesus say no i'll go I'll, I'll come to your house he say no my lord he say i'm a man of authority i tell one to go they go i tell one to come they come so in other words he was implying that he respect the authority of jesus i'm not going to have you to stop what you're doing to come all the way to my house i appreciate you i know about authority because I'm a man of authority. Just send the word. But Jesus said, come on, I'll go. I know it seemed like I'm digressing, but I'm not. Come on, hold on. And so the co-worker, she knew who I was in Christ, who I am in Christ, because she sent for me. And I say, no, I'm just going to send the word. I know that I can just send the word. I know that I can pray with you on the phone. I know I can send the word to her situation. And so the Holy Spirit said, Karen, go, just go. So I got lost because, hey, she all in another county from me. So I went. And so I prayed. And then I heard the Lord tell me to tell her to sow a financial seed. And... She said, why do we need to, to sow a seed? Now, I never charge nobody for prayer. Anybody that personally know me, know that's not me. But I distinctively heard the Lord. And so I had to obey God. I say, you know what? I hear the Lord say, just sow a seed, a financial seed for your sister. This was no amount or nothing. This was just an act of faith. That your sister, that her sister would have been released from the jail. But she said, I never heard of nothing like that. We don't do that in our church. Well, you didn't call your priest. <laughs> you didn't call your priest. You call God's prophet, apostle. You didn't call your priest. So because you called me, I have to obey what God was saying to me. But I, I told her, I say, well, anyway, if you don't uh, believe it or if you don't understand it, I say, no problem. God bless you. Good night. I'm going home. I need to get ready for work in the morning. I already done cross another county just to get to you. But then she say, okay. You know, I said, okay, if you don't, I say, I understand. All right. Good night. 
Then she broke down. Okay, let me let me let me go get my purse. I think she gave me like twenty, thirty dollars, twenty or thirty dollars, something like that. And it was only an act of faith. And so, back to Mary and the servants. It was an act of faith. It was an act of faith. Come on, hallelujah. And because they did exactly what she, what Jesus told them to do, because see, Mary knew the deal. She birthed him in the natural. She raised him up. She knew this was a man that miracle signs and wonders follow. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, you call for me. You believe that this prayer will break through your sister's situation, but you don't believe the word that God has given me. The two don't go together. And see, sometimes people want something, but they don't want to give nothing. Come on. You want, but you don't want to, to give. Come on. Hallelujah. And, and in that case, let me make it clear for those that may be, be viewing and don't understand. We can't buy God. Amen. You want she wasn't buying no prayer. Come on. Hallelujah. She was just releasing the seed as an act of faith. And just like those gentlemen did with Mary and Jesus. Come on. When you release your faith, you will receive a breakthrough. And so sometimes we just got to let go and let God, amen, even when we don't understand, God, guess what, I'm going to let go this hurt, I'm going to let go this pain, come on, I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to trust you, come on, hallelujah, whatever it is you're carrying, God, I'm going to let all this stuff go, because I'm trying to move forward, I'm trying to get this miracle, hallelujah, that your woman servant has been talking about, I'm trying to get this breakthrough that your woman servant is talking about, hallelujah, and because they believe Jesus, they filled those pots up with water, Jesus worked a miracle, saving, we were talking about on the point of Saving the best for last. Come on. Saving the best for last. And so the host of the wedding party, when he got a drink of that, when he got a sip, I believe somebody need a sip today. Come on. Hallelujah. A sip of what God wants to do. Just a sip of it. Come on. Just a little sip. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God will change your whole situation. Glory be to God. It's not a lot that you need to do, but just be obedient to God. And so when that host drink that wine, he say, my God, they must be saved the best for last. Come on. Hallelujah. Where, 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 where did this come from? Because see, if you know anything about people drinking and, and, and having a party, Glory be to God. They want to put out the, the good stuff first. Come on, y'all. The ones that drink, they know. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going by what I hear. I thank God I never got. I'm not trying to say I'm goody, good shoes or never did nothing wrong, but drinking was just, just wasn't me. Drinking and smoking was just never me. Maybe some other things, but drinking in, that was never me. Glory be to God. But I've heard people say this, that they put the good stuff out there first so that Glory be to God, the people they invite, they get a little, feel a little good. So then they start pouring up the stuff that didn't cost them that much because they, they don't know by now because they already feeling good. They already got a buzz. But in this case, the hosts of the party say, how did you save the best for last? But see, when Jesus come on the scene, glory be to God, he always give the best, the best, the best. So today we're going to let go of everything <coughs> that was trying to weigh us down. Glory be to God, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, no matter the bitterness, no, no matter the resentfulness, no matter the lies, come on, no matter the people not paying you back your money, come on, yes, 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 I hear God, come on, somebody, hallelujah, somebody even lent uh, people money, come on, and you have not gotten it back, but God say, don't worry about it, God is saying to you, God is speaking to you now, let it go, let it go, let it go, and trust God, come on. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. God will give you back exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Come on, that you could act or think. Hallelujah. And when we do all of those things to press towards the mark of the high calling, now God says what? He want to give us new mercy, new grace, new mercy, new grace. Come on. Without his new mercy and new grace, we would all be consumed. Without grace and mercy. Come on. The lamentation tell us if it wasn't for God's mercy, we would all be consumed. Come on. Hallelujah. Let go. God want to give us new mercy, new mercy and new grace in this season that we can get over the hurdle. Come on. Whatever hurdle that you were on, whatever was blocking you, I prophesy today. I prophesy into your very situation today. The hurdle is broken. The hurdle is broken. I speak to that hurdle today and I command it to get out of your way. The Lord Jesus told us, he said, we can speak to any mountain and command that mountain to be the I remove. So I speak to every hurdle, hallelujah, that tried to be a mountain in your way. Come on, that tried to block uh, your view, that tried to block your view of God, that tried to block your view of where God wants to speak to you. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Every hurdle that have been there, that's trying to hold you back, hallelujah, come down in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I prophesy new opportunities over you. Yes, I prophesy new opportunities. Hallelujah. Opportunities that did not work last year. Opportunities that did not work five years ago. Opportunities that did not work two weeks ago. I prophesy new opportunities. New doors are coming open to you. Glory be to God. Hear this. Yesterday is gone. And tomorrow may never come come. But today, hallelujah, glory be to God, new opportunity, hallelujah, is setting itself up in your life, hallelujah, many of you, hallelujah, are going to get calls, glory be to God, about opportunity, glory be to God, just when you thought, hallelujah, Hallelujah, that it will, everything will shut down. But God say, suddenly, come on, hallelujah, new opportunity is on the arise. God say, I will do it for my name's sake. God say, he will back this word up. Come on, new opportunity, come on. Hallelujah, it's going to grace you in this season. You will not uh, leave 2019, hallelujah, without seeing the hand of God upon your life. You will not leave 2019 without new opportunity, new experience. Hallelujah. For God say, behold, I do a new thing. Come on. He say, I'm doing, hallelujah, making rivers and deserts. He say, I'm bringing down mountains. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tell her, hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is doing a new thing. He say, behold, my reward is with me and I come quickly. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of you are beginning to lose your faith. And for that God say, hallelujah, I will come quickly. Behold, I will do a new thing. Glory be to God. God say, I'm turning situations around. God is coming through for you in the nick of time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's only because of his namesake, my beloved. Hallelujah. It's because of his namesake. Hallelujah. It's because you're riding upon his name. And he say, heaven and earth will pass away. Hallelujah. But not one jot of his word. Even this rhema word that I'm releasing into the earth realm today. It shall not pass away. Glory be to God. I've been seeing God turn things around. Glory be to God. Right here, the words that God has been using me to make minister, hallelujah, and to prophesy and to teach right here on this Thursday midday breakthrough. Glory be to God. People have been inboxing me. Glory be to God. Last week, hallelujah, a sister came to me, hallelujah, and said before, just as she got off the broadcast, hallelujah, God had already turned a situation around. Can I tell you good news? It's on its way. Hallelujah. In mighty portions with no delay. Glory be to God. 
God is getting ready to bless like never ever before. God is ready to give you new ideas, new inventions, new ideas, new inventions. Hallelujah. If I was you, I'd go ahead and sow on this word. You are not buying the word. This is not a trick word. Hallelujah. You're just sowing. Hallelujah. To say, God, I believe the word of the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. God is uh, releasing new ideas. Come on. New ideas. And you're going to, hallelujah, the devil going to make you feel like the second guess yourself. But I prophesy against the enemy today. You will not cause God's people to second guess themselves. For God is giving new ideas. For your eyes haven't seen, your ears haven't heard, neither have entered into your heart the things that God have in store for you. Even into this new, into this season. Come on. Into this season of monumental breakthrough. Into this season, last week God had me to post something. Some people may court it and some people may have it. Radical, radical breakthrough. Radical breakthrough. Radical breakthrough. Ancient walls are coming down. Ancient chains are coming down. Ancient gates are coming down. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ancient walls, chains, and gates are coming down. Somebody hashtag that. Ancient walls, chains, and gates are coming down. Hallelujah. We release the fire of God over every ancient wall, chain, and gate that the enemy has used. Hallelujah. To stop you to bamboozle you, to make you feel like you can't go on. It is coming down in the spirit, and so shall it be in the natural. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is even raising up new contacts. God is even raising up new contacts. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, because if the truth be told, many of the contacts that you have, in your phone anyway, can't bust a move for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some of, some of the contacts you have on your email, hallelujah, list can't do nothing for you. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Pamela. Hallelujah. Can't do nothing for you anyway. Come on. So God says, guess what? I'm giving you a new contact list. Hallelujah. I'm giving you friends that will stick closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And even your enemies shall be at peace with you. Even your enemies shall be at peace with you. New contacts, come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. New contacts. Hallelujah. And these contacts are going to be able to help you to get to another level in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The woman of God say the move I tried to come to, I can't, it's gone. But anyway, hallelujah. Whatever you're going through, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you let go and let God, he'll do it for you. He'll do it for you. Hallelujah. I even speak into my own life, into my own bosom. I let go today everything, everything that so easily weigh me down and hold me back. And whoop, I let you go. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. And don't come back here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So we say today, out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old and in with the new. We ask God to fill our cup. Hallelujah. To let our cups run over. Let our cups run over. Glory be to God. So today we clean up what we messed up. And we will start our life all over again. Just like the song that captain spiritual singers uh wrote and sing come on hallelujah everything that we messed up hallelujah we ain't, we're not looking back in no rear view mirror hallelujah we starting all over again god give us new grace and new mercy even this second uh half of the year glory be to god we, we can't worry about what didn't go happen january through june that's over we're pressing towards the mark 
of the high calling. Come on, come on. Press with me. Press with me in the spirit. Press with me in the spirit. Hallelujah. Come on. Press with me in the spirit. Press with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we're making new strides. We're making new strides. New doors are, are coming open. New windows. Hallelujah. New opportunities. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I want to uh, end this broadcast with this. Glory be to God. And we're going to send the enemy. Hallelujah. The enemy of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to send old Snoofoot, Satan, the devil himself. Hallelujah, all of his imps, all of his wimps. We're going to send them a cease and desist letter today. We're sending it in the spirit. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, we command you to cease, cease and desist. Take your hand off of God's property. Take your hand off of God's property. Hallelujah, we're making boss moves. We're making checker moves in the spirit, and so shall it be in the natural. Hallelujah. Just as it is in the spirit, so shall it be in the natural. Hallelujah. This is our season of radical breakthrough. This is our season of radical promotion. Hallelujah. We don't believe God for nothing. We believe him for his word's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever he say, it shall come to pass. So I decree and declare the word of the Lord over your life. I decree and declare, hallelujah, that the birds of the air will not choke it up. I decree and declare that bitterness and resentfulness is gone. I decree and declare that we cut all our losses in the name of Jesus and we press towards the mark of the high calling. We decree and declare that miracles and breakthrough is on its way to our homes today. Miracles and healing uh, is on its way into our lives today in mighty portions with no delay. Whatsoever we touch in this season shall break through, 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 shall break through. Shall break through. I hear business. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't know who's on here. Hallelujah. That God has given you an idea for business. Or perhaps you are a business owner. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, Hallelujah. These six months, it's five and a half months that are left. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't, I, 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 I hear business. Hallelujah. I don't know if you're in a startup business. I don't know if you have a business, but I hear God say that. Hallelujah. In these next five and a half months, you're going to experience the hand of the Lord upon your business. Hallelujah. I hear God say he's giving you creative ideas. Hallelujah. And this time you must move on the idea. Hallelujah. That God has given you. If you will be so much as obedient to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to laugh all the way to the bank. Hallelujah. You're going to laugh all the way to the bank. Hallelujah. Says the spirit of the living Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what you've been trying to do. Hallelujah. I don't know if you're already in business. I don't know if you're, you're scared to start the business. Hallelujah. But God says, hallelujah. If you will step out on faith, if you will trust him, hallelujah, not only trust him, he says, I hear God say, if you would even honor him in that business, hallelujah, glory be to God, you're going to see the hand of the Lord on the business, hallelujah, in an unusual way, in a radical way, hallelujah, God, God, I hear the Lord say, this is your season, hallelujah, to let down your net for a catch. This is your season to let down your net for a catch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is turning 
it around. God is turning it around. Hallelujah. Even some of you have been cluttered in your mind. Hallelujah. I said I was trying to let go, but I hear the word of the Lord. God say some of you even been cluttered in your mind. God say, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hallelujah. So clear thoughts can, can flow through that the mind of Christ, hallelujah, that you can get the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, yelabash we bind up every clutter 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 the spirit of clutter hallelujah that come to bombard god's people mind i break you that spirit of sabotage i hear you holy spirit god say it's a spirit of sabotage hallelujah that will try to sabotage you hallelujah that will try to sabotage hallelujah what god want to do in your life what god want to do in your family life but i decree and declare that spirit of sabotage is being broken even now even now i prophetically decree and declare hallelujah every sabotage spirit break now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah we loose the word we loose the word of breakthrough we loose the word of breakthrough and we bind the sabotage and demon we bind every sabotage demon right now in the name of jesus father we thank you because you say whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven right now father we thank you right now we thank you right now father we thank you father we thank you for how you're going to do it god in jesus holy name in jesus holy name hallelujah yes 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 lord hallelujah i pick that spirit up in the name of jesus hallelujah glory be to god you won't be sabotaged in this season if you believe the word of the lord hallelujah if you believe the word of the lord hallelujah that sabotage spirit hallelujah that been trying to hold you down hallelujah glory be to god won't have a grip on you in the name of jesus we bind it we bind it we bind it in the name of jesus and we loose the anointing of breakthrough over you hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god god say hallelujah glory be to god the person that was feeling heavy with the clutter in the mind and in the heart. God says that he's going to allow you to feel his peace. Hallelujah. God said you're going to begin to feel light. You're going to begin to feel light. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that this is the anointing of peace. Hallelujah. The peace of God is coming upon you. Peace not as the world give, but peace I give unto you, says the spirit of the living Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In the transition the transition will be light the transition will be light hallelujah hallelujah god is speaking to hallelujah several of you hallelujah about transitioning even in your life hallelujah glory be to god god know when the, the proper time the proper time he always saves the best for last hallelujah glory be to god so beloved god bless you i thank you guys for tuning in if you have not shared the broadcast with your friends, hallelujah, I'm going to ask you to share the broadcast. If you would look up um, the note up there, you can see uh, where you can sew, how to sew, PayPal, or I started to say YouTube, not YouTube, what you call it, Cash App, amen, hallelujah, whatever the Lord laid upon your heart. Hallelujah. Sow it as an act of faith. You're also sowing to help rebuild um, another part of the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. I get into that in some details at a later date. Amen. Your seed may leave your hand, but it will never ever leave your life. Amen. And if you're wondering for those that have sown and you're wondering where the seed has gone it has gone into good ground but physically it is being saved to relaunch the church ministry there i said it so god bless you until we meet again hallelujah god bless you god bless you Thank you guys for coming in. I'm going to release the broadcast.